Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just making a documentary about my unlawful arrest outside this police station. Welcome to the channel guys, Autistic Audits UK. Today I'm really nervous because I'm back at Downfield Police Station where I was arrested last December. Uh, unlawfully I might add, um, I'll try to explain how and why. Uh, I'm really nervous because uh, there's loads of police vans out front and uh, they're really uh, feisty here in Dundee. So, uh, right away, this is the back of the police station and uh, they said that I entered a private, secure uh, car park. Bearing in mind this is now a year later and I'm not the only auditor to have visited in between times uh, RE black and white audits. Uh, there are no signs as you can see and uh, the windows, uh, sorry the doors, the gates even um, are completely wide open so for evidential purposes this is not a private or secure car park in any sense of the word so as you can see there are a mixture of uh, vehicles uh, some of them could be private some of them could be uh, undercover uh, police officer cars um, or they could be the police officers uh, vehicles themselves hi there you okay Sorry, I'm just filming a documentary, uh, that's all, it's not about you. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so, like, as you can see, um, it's just a car park. It doesn't say it's a police Scotland car park um, or anything. So anybody could literally wander in by mistake. When I was here, um, I wasn't asked uh, to leave the car park. Um, I didn't... Uh, do anything, I didn't engage with anybody, I did film inside the windows and Police Scotland said according to section 38 that I peered into personal private windows and things like that but none of that is an offence. Uh, that's um, another personal space which I will not film, it's you've got everything in there that you can imagine like, uh, shouldn't be seen really on a camera so I'm not going to film it so I think that woman there, uh, the cleaner there is probably going to go and tell the front desk that there's somebody outside filming but I'm not actually entering inside the police station um, or onto the police uh, grounds as such so um, at the time of my arrest I'd already finished filming and I wandered up there and I saw a police van, so you can see all the police vans there. And um, I saw a police van go up there, and then turn around, so I thought, oh, right, I'll come back. And then by the time I come back, uh, the police officers had gone inside. And, uh, and I kind of got about here, where those bollards are. And then suddenly about five of them came out, and uh, it said, uh, they think that I might be the man in the High Castle Auditor who was arrested about two years previously and who'd skipped bail. I also knew of another auditor from England um, who was also arrested under the same mistaken identity. So they said that they think that I might be that uh, suspected terrorist. And... Um, so I said, well, according to uh, sort of section whatever it was at the time, that I don't have to give my details. So then they suddenly switched the arrest to uh, section 38 and said that I behaved threateningly and abusively. And since, since the whole thing was on film, it's not possible. To kind of like for me to lie or for them to actually get that wrong so they've lied through the absolute teeth um, um on the charge sheet itself they've just lied uh there was no uh, behavior and when police scotland released my telephone and those two videos then um it will show that uh, um, arresting police officers 
um, have committed uh, dishonesty. So like I say, I'm not actually going to go inside the police station, but I'm just going to film um, in and around it. There's not a lot to film anyway, to be fair. Uh, the police behaved outrageously um, after my arrest because the police officers lied that makes it false uh, imprisonment as well and because I was further assaulted and further violated and abused um, it makes what happened really a criminal uh, situation because I'm not the only victim because the man in the high castle apparently claims um, a similar um, amount of intimidation and so does the other English auditor who I won't name not yet anyway so I, there's a bit of a record here of in Dundee um, of targeting Um, auditors certainly ones um, outside of Scotland anyway It's quite a, um, a busy station, really, for such a small one. You see, you just get like a mixture of responses. No matter where you go in the country, you get like a mixture of responses. Um, Sometimes, you know, you know, you get arrested. Um, other times you get welcomed, like uh, black and white audits, and they, they talk things through with you. And, and now, doing like complete ignore mode now, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm still here to document it. It doesn't make for a very exciting video, but anyway, I will show you this. You see, this is the kind of thing that, um, I was filming through the windows, and this is them, like, it's the uh, Police Scotland Youth Volunteers. You know, you've got, like, names and things like that. Uh, personal, private information all um, on display. And they blame the viewer rather than their laziness or their wrongness. It's always the uh, the viewer. Yeah, there's a police officer there. 
You see, last time I was there, they was all over me. Now they just walk away. Hi there. Okay. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just making a documentary about my unlawful arrest outside this police station. Got a bit of excitement as well, guys. Okay, so basically a summary is the um, evidence that the uh, police are lying tossers at uh, Downfield Police Station is on the two uh, videos, uh, one which is on my telephone and that the other one, because it didn't have a quite uh, thousand uh, viewers at the time, on the first channel it got um, automatically um, uploaded to the, uh, like a private folder like all videos do, um, under a thousand uh, live videos that is so uh, anyway and I'm going to go directly now uh, to the main uh, police station and um, explain what happened uh, down at that police station when I was taken there so uh, from downfield police station um, obviously nothing is private, nothing is secure and you cannot trust Police Scotland to uh, tell the truth and uh, they're just cynical um, um, horrible uh, disgusting police officers who uh, can be proven to have lied uh, quite easily by just viewing uh, the video of my arrest so uh, from Downfield Police Station thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon guys